Well, we, we beat an outstanding team and an outstanding player, Nicholson, but their team is so much more than Nicholson. Um, I thought the key to the game is we really played hard defensively. I think our pressure uh, made them a little uncomfortable. Uh, and I think we had a great effort from a lot of people. Um, we led throughout. Uh, we had a couple bad off. Our, our defense was pretty consistent. Uh, we had a couple bad offensive possessions that just uh, they were able to capitalize on uh, on the other end. But the, I just I think everyone on our team played hard, and uh, I thought our defense was good. And uh, I'm thrilled with uh, getting a win against an, an obviously strong opponent. Uh, it's definitely something I never expected I would do. Uh, this was my my first start since freshman year of uh, high school for basketball. So I definitely wasn't uh, wasn't sure how I was going to handle it. I actually, uh, you know, I had a lot of family here, and actually just lucky enough to actually do it this year with Earl. It meant a lot. So you know, I kind of Earl and I got a really good relationship, and uh, I probably couldn't ask for a better person to do it with. So the emotions were just uh, it all just came crashing down when I walked out. Uh, I saw him do the uh, introduction, and I went right after him. It was just you know, it all came crashing down. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's uh, what I told our team is, uh, and up to a little funny story before the game, I said, a team that wins 19 games is a good team. And I said, what's a 21 team? Someone said, a great team. I said, take it easy. We're not 76 Indiana yet, you know, but uh, uh, but I think a 21 team qualifies you as a very good team. You're, you're something between good and great. And uh, I think in this league, to have a winning record and to win 20 games nowadays doesn't make you a great team. Maybe back in the day it made you a great team, but it does make you a very good team. It does make you a little bit better than good. They say no one's perfect. I've never seen Earl do or say just about anything wrong. He's such a good teammate and such a hard worker and so compliant for good reason. He's compliant to people that he knows are trying to help him. If Earl knows you want to help him, like the coaches and academic people here do, he'll do he'll go through a wall for you. He'll do whatever you ask him to do. Uh, so he's really special to me, um, and obviously he's a very good player. But there's a lot of talented guys who who don't play up to their potential because they're not compliant and because maybe issues may may get in their way. Earl's personality and character enhances basketball ability. He's a good player because he's talented and he'll run through a wall for anyone and he's a great teammate on top of it. And, off the, and his off the court behavior is as good or better than his on the court play. I told, I told, uh, I tell every, anyone interested in walking on for us, I'm not looking for the best player. I'm looking for the best person. And the best person I could find over the last several years is Matt Sheehan. I couldn't find anyone better than this guy. He's tough, he's strong, and our guys respect him. He's an athletic guy now. If he didn't have a couple knee surgeries, he might be playing more regularly. But he's got knee problems that bother him, but he's so strong and tries so hard. And our guys just respect him as an athlete. They obviously respect him as a person because he is a great person. But they respect him as an athlete too. This is a football guy. He's a beast in the weight room, he works hard, he's competitive, and uh, I would have liked to see him with some good knees.